Oh. Mickey, how lovely to have you. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. Thank you. Well, let's do it different to last time. What was wrong with last time? Well, I was out here for about 25 minutes. I watched it go out the next day. This isn't live. Um, <laughs> as if we would edit this what a, show. What a lovely Thursday night we're having. Um, <laughs> But, um, and then I watched it go out and it was about seven minutes because you had to cut out all the filth, the swearing, the libelous stuff. Let's be been, nice. Let's be nice. Um, now, I remember <laughs> last time I came, I think I mentioned the fact that, that when you go out with John Ross, it's like going out with um, Tom Hanks from Big. There's toys everywhere, he's going down the street with ridiculous costumes, waving, like Hattie Town, waving at people. <laughs> I like to spread a little happiness. He does, he does. And he, he, like, he does. And, and it's lovely, you know, it's, it's a joy. It takes the heat off me. But, um, and, uh, and in his dressing room, it's like, it's like a child's bedroom as well. It's, it's going, look at this, I went in there today. Oh, yeah, that's not the only thing you showed me, is it? I was going to... Did you show Leslie Ash and Nigel the same thing you showed me when I came? He's in his dressing gown, right? He's in his dressing gown and he just goes, all right? <laughs> and I went, oh, jeez. And then I went, yeah, very good. And he went, well, I went, okay. And, and he's so proud of it. <laughs> it was What's wrong with a man a showing good. another man how happy he used to see him? <laughs> <laughs> see, we're editing already. What's going oh, on? Dear. Um, Ricky has a, uh, it's a live stand-up video out, mm. which is, um... Not live, it's recorded. Well, uh... <laughs> it's impossible. They, they can't do that yet. <laughs> this isn't live, by the way. This is Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ricky has a new DVD out on uh, Monday night, my birthday. Monday Happy the birthday. 17th. 43. Yeah. Well, how old are you? M younger. <laughs> Let's talk about the animals DVD. Oh, yeah, here, here it is. Now look at that. <laughs> I'm worried that people won't realise it's a, a thriller spoof, and I'm just trying. It's like Jack Duckworth's porn video or something. I think if you look at those pictures again, it looks like that's what Michael Jackson is working his way towards with oh, all no. the surgery. And everything. <laughs> look, that's look. It. They should just put that on the cover of Jackson's album. People said, "Oh, he's had all the work done. Then it's finished." Uh, I really tried my hardest. We got everything right, and I kept looking at Polaroids and it. And look at that fat builder's hand. <laughs> it's like a paw. Yeah, it, it is. It, I, it? I, it's a hand. I thought there were sausages there. Let's, <laughs> the time to Let's have a look. This is a clip of uh, Ricky Gervais in Animals. It's out on Monday, which uh, is just three days away. And it's his birthday. It's my birthday. I, um, I wasn't there that night. I went to see Animals live. It was very funny. I was, uh, I was very impressed. I was not surprised, because obviously you're a funny bloke. We know you're a funny bloke, but it's a I different... I can't stand him being nice to me. I just... It's <laughs> awful. Don't end this interview with, and, you know, honestly, I really am a genuine fan. But I see you that every week. And I don't do it every week. I didn't do it to Nigel Harmon because he f up the other bit. <laughs> uh, the Office has been quite a cult hit, I believe, hasn't it? It's done quite well. Yeah. I mean, it's not a big show. I mean, no, it's a BBC Two thing. It's not. BBC but those who've caught it have liked it. Gets the it. same figures as yeah. this, but I mean, it's on BBC Two. Was it meant is, to be funny? Was it meant to be funny, or was it just a lucky? Was that a happy byproduct? It wasn't meant to be a comedy, it's awful, so I had to just like pretend that, yeah. Um, David Brent, what a great creation. Very um, easy to impersonate, despite what Ricky might think. Last time Ricky was on the show, I said to him, do, do people actually do David Brent here? And Ricky gave a very, quite a convoluted, quite an intelligent answer, a little bit up his own jacksy, going, <laughs> you couldn't really... Now, you couldn't really um, impersonate David Brent because he's, he's really, he's doing other people. He doesn't really have a character, he doesn't have a persona. This was kind of the gist of it. He doesn't really... When, now, tell, tell the good ladies and gentlemen here what happened the minute we walked out of the studio that night. We walked out, we walked to the car park. Um, a bloke came up, ran up and went... <coughs> <laughs> oh, I just did it on telly. Yeah, you've done it again. Oh. <laughs> I'm like Superman and you're Mr. Mizzy Apicolic and I made oh, you say your name backwards. No, no, you made me do it. The dance is going to follow you around for a while, I guess, but, I mean, there, there are two more offices coming out. So there's two one-offs coming out? Yeah, it's sort of like a, a one-off cut in two. Okay. So it's, it's, it's um, like an hour and a half over two nights. And it's on BBC One now? It is, yeah. What happens in them? <laughs> um, I'm not going to tell you how Brent dies, but... Oh. <laughs> The Office is uh, it's a huge hit, and all over the world now, it's been sold. I don't know how... Uh, I mean, I know it's, it's on American TV. 
Um, yeah, it's on, yeah, it's on um, uh, BBC America. Right, and, and do they get it? Do they understand it? Because people seem to think yeah, that Americans don't get do. that kind of humour. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not huge. I mean, it's big in sort of the places you'd think it would be, the metropolises like New York and LA, and I don't, don't think um, Texas sort of farmhands are, are into it. But, <laughs> um, but um, that's, that's ridiculous. That, that I don't people... like that David Brent fella. Brilliant. <laughs> he don't, I don't like him. He speaks funny. Elmer Fudd. <laughs> I'm hunting Webby. <laughs> uh, but it's been sold to America to be remade, isn't it? They're going to remake it. That's right, yeah. And you're, you're involved in this? You're going to go and oversee um, this? Yeah, well, a consultancy sort of role. Executive producer, I think they call it. Yeah. And who's going to play Debbie Brent? Um, I want Brad Pitt, but... <laughs> well, no, actually, he's 40. He's yeah, a bit... good old. Yeah, um, someone... I have um, some. I don't know their casting. Oh god, here we I go. have some suggestions for you. Yeah, okay. No, no, what? seriously, the, take these on board. And if George you... Melly. No, um, go he's on. not an American. Oh no, well done. Have a look at this. Here we go. First up, oh, for... <coughs> Russell Crowe. Yeah. He's kind of. He, you look a bit like him, but on the wrong format. You know when you turn your TV on <laughs> and you haven't hit the right button yet, and it's squished, and you go, "What? Oh, what's happened to his head? Oh, it's just Ricky, not Russell Crowe." <laughs> although, although you wouldn't be like this with him, would you? Oh no. So, oh, Russell, you're so muscly and bloody. <laughs> By the and way, then you're so clever in that div one about maths. Oh, how'd you do it? <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's a, a little sneak preview of our interview with Russell Crowe, which is yeah. on the next show. The next show film, two thousand, yeah. Now he's only two weeks' time. Is We're back really? on with Russell Crowe. Now, the next bit is another one. And you see... <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, you see, it's there. <laughs> It's not that much of a stretch. Oh, um, God. All right, the new Office DVD is out. It's uh, Office Series 2 is out now on DVD. Uh, it's become the fastest selling DVD in this country, is that right? Yeah. Okay. The first, uh, a couple of years ago, well, last year, the fastest selling DVD was the Office Series 1. Then Phoenix Knights come out on video, and that knocked you off the top, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's for a, a week, he was borrowing the title, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, what surprised me, and you've come on, even though that's a much better show, because yeah. it's got more characters in it, he I does know. more voices. I know, I know. I think, I think it's more of a reflection that um, uh, more people got DVD players to watch Phoenix Nights, yeah. and then they thought, well, I might as well get The Office. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's a clip from The Office Series 2. It's out now on DVD. It's easy! <laughs> Rasputin. <laughs> I've got to wear this, I'm joining the Kings of Leon. <laughs> I'm running away from home to join the band. <laughs> now, joking aside for a minute, I've got a surprise for you. You're going to like this, I hope. OK. Um, the, the DVD you've got out is animals, and you're making jokes about animals and the history of animals and nature. But you are actually an animal lover, right? Yeah. You've got... Um, I've been to Ricky's... Uh, it's not so much a house as a hovel. But I've been there, <laughs> although you've moved now. It's like, it was like a student's flat he was living in for ages. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you've got a lizard or something? What the Salamander. Lizard? Salamander. Completely different class. OK. <laughs> you see, he knows his animals. One's a, one's a reptile, and you did one's have a lovely, a lovely cat called Colin, right? Which died a okay. couple of weeks ago. I understand how... <laughs> Don't laugh, it's sad, because it was sad. You no, loved that true. cat. That's true, yeah. He had a cat called yeah. Colin, he died, and he just died of old age or something, didn't he? Was, or something no, like. he has a brain hemorrhage. Oh, God. <laughs> Colin's no longer with us. No. I've bought you a new cat. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Now, if you don't want the cat, you don't have to have the you cat. You haven't. Yeah, we've spoken to the pet shop and said they'll take the cat back if you don't want it. Um, but... Oh, imagine that. Well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... Rubbish. <laughs> The cat won't well, know. He doesn't speak English. He's a French cat. <laughs> okay, so my lovely wife Jane, who for this, this evening is going to be my uh, beautiful assistant, is going to bring out the little. Look at that! Look at that! She's a bit panicky. Ooh. Ooh, come on. Oh my God! Now, what do you think? Hello. Do you think? Is it little Siamese? No, I don't think so. It's, they were a bit expensive. It's, uh... <laughs> I said, get me one that looks like a breed cat. That's great. Do, no, would you keep? I don't, yeah, is it of a course. boy or girl? Have a look. Well, there. obviously. What is it? I'm not going to look on television. Go have a look. It's Go embarrassed. On. Now, there's um, your partner, Jane, OK? Jane, do you like the cat? Gorgeous. He's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, um, well you know, you, we better take the cat back out because we've got the rock and roll band coming out now. And I know, the loud noises. The what a beautiful cat. What are you going to call it? I think I'm going to name it after you. <laughs> Let 
ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.